However, it's gonna be an instant KO here. All we gotta do is evolve the Salazzle. Are we gonna poison burn it? Yes, and I would have uh, an extra card out. It's gonna be another Salazzle for next turn. Good. Let's go ahead and use Dead NGX. We get to see one shot KO. There's no animations like I'm still alive. No, I'm not. I'm in the discard. I've been knocked out. We got the. Hello, Intergross and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you Dark Ride GX. One of the best basic GX cards there is. Oh, yeah, they're getting better and better. Dark Ride. I mean, any card named Dark Ride is a good card. Pokemon made sure of that, and the latest GX version of this guy is no different. In fact, it is one of the top. I'd say one of the top cards. So, how do you use this Dark Rye? Well, I believe the right partner is Salazzle, which you will see because it brings out more damage, one shot KOs. So, I'm gonna explain to you how this Dark Rye Salazzle deck works quickly. You will see it in three, oh yeah, three awesome matches. First match totally shows everything it can do. So, and then after that, you'll see more interesting matches. Tapu Bulu. Lunala GX is so let's get started today's intro this month's intro is still alive from portal Really cool Game I wish there was a portal 3 uh, anyways dark ride. Let's talk about you. So let's get started dark ride You have 180 hit points, which is the exact same amount as the Past dark rise. I think the, other, the one we have now also is 180. So that's good. That's standard for GX as basic. What is your ability? Well when uh, this card is in the discard pile, never mind how it got there, maybe it got knocked out, maybe it got discarded through, say, Sycamore, through, say, uh, Ultra Ball, yeah? If it's in the discard, it will bring itself back to life, even though it's a ghost and probably dead-ish. It will bring itself back to life on your bench with an uh, energy card from your discard. So, not only is it going to keep sticking around, once the first Dark Ride goes down, it will come back to you, so you don't have to worry about recycling it. And because it takes the energy with it, you don't have to worry about recycling the energy. But really, couldn't you use that to set up faster? I wouldn't use it for setting up. I would just draw with all the Dark Rides, use Max Eclipse, this wonderful trainer which, you look at deck 6 cards, you find a Dark Energy, and it goes straight to Dark Ride. Cheating the 1 Energy Return rule, you can get up set her faster that way. I don't think getting it out there, you know, using this ability to set up is important, but if it shows up, sure, you can do it. Max Elixir is just more efficient. Easier to do. Don't have to wait for cards to line up like Ultra Balls and Sycamore. So, it's nice. It's just ability that keeps it around. Very good. Now, moving on. Dark Cleave. 130 damage. Three, uh, pretty much three dark energies. What is up special about 130? It absolutely two shots everything so Leo wow Lord 250 is the max base hit points so you even muscle dumbbells on stage once it will two shots so that is a great number for 130 for this good one shots Garbodor this is a good normal attack so it's not overpowered not not uh, even underpowered is perfect absolutely great and as a special Sometimes useful ability. This attack ignores resistance. So Dark Ride must have been fighting lots of fairies because they are the only cards that have resistance to dark. So take a look at this. Resistance to dark. So it must have been fighting those a lot. It's Gaina. It's learned some tricks. It can go bypass it because it's known. It's a veteran now. So after fighting lots of fairies, basically it will always do 130 damage. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, moving on. Dead End GX. If your Pokemon... Opponent has a special condition. If they are sick somehow, sleep, confused, poison, this attack will instantly KO them. No matter how much hit points they have, so whatever special things is on them, it's a one-shot KO. That Pokemon's knocked down. One-shot kill. Same energy causes Dark Cleave. 
Dang, that's a one shot on the basic GX card. So, how do we exploit this? We are gonna use Salazzle GX. That's how we get the opponent sick. Hot poison. When these ladies evolve, they spit poison, which is, since, well, you know, it's a fire book, but they also get burnt as well. So, poison, snake, lizard, lizard, lizard. There we go. Poison, burn. And that is a special condition that does in total 30 damage. Poison does 10 damage, burn does 20, 30 damage. However, a Kale is a Kale. The 30 damage probably doesn't matter if that you're using dead and how with Dark Leaf, it's 160 damage. Almost a one-shot Kale on itself. So you give it a choice ban. Poke tool, equip it, 30 more damage to EX and GX Pokemon. That is a one-shot without having to use Dark Dead End. Dead End, so you get a one-shot without to GX. Ah, oh, ain't that scary. Now, however, if you use the Fighting Fury Belt, that is a 10 baseline damage, so instead of 190, you get 170, which is enough to one-shot a, say, a Tapu Lele, but not a 180 Pokemon, or 190 Pokemon. So, against other GX Pokemons, it can get one-shots with its regular normal attack. So, this thing is really good against GX Pokemons, pretty much. It sets itself easily, the damage, all its moves and abilities are great, there's nothing wrong about this Dark Rai. Nothing wrong, this star is great! Moving on! What else do we have here? We have Coconut Master. Coconut Master Wonder Tag, you get to find any support you like. Like your boy Guzma. Your boy Guzma is now replacing Lysander. I got the replacement, so this is Lysander with a switch! In fact, we gotta, you know, this is the new thing. We can't talk about Lysander in a bit because we got to move into the new uh, era. So your boy Guzma will bring out, well, will bring out any Pokemon, uh, your victims from the bench, and uh, will let you get switched. You have to switch though, so, and I'm still learning this. There may be parts where it's like, yes, I'm gonna Lysander that out. No, you're a Guzma. That does make weird things. Oranguru Banana Master! You know I did a Ninetales deck before this? Ninetales is gonna beat this deck up if I don't have Oranguru here. So Oranguru, you will now go into every single deck because of Ninetales is gonna get me, and I'm gonna need Vax Elixirs, charge you up and fight if I want to, you know, stand a chance against Ninetales. So, we may even need more of you. Moving on! I think that is all the important parts. All, we have plenty of draw supporters. You know, my poke tools, some float stones for retreats, some uh, sadians for retreat. Uh, I think that's it. Ultra balls, poke balls, energies. We're done, we're done. The evolution spread, big part. Don't forget about the top part. You unevolve one of your Pokemons, basically Salazzle, because it only triggers when you evolve it. It allows you to, you know, once you unevolve it, evolve it again. You reuse the ability. So, that is that. All right, Dark Ride GX, let's get to it. All right, what do we have here? Eevee, Tapu Lele, Xerneas. We will see, this is a mystery to me as well. Welcome to another Dark Ride GX match. I'm gonna play my remix of Heartache from Undertale. Now, what do we want? We're gonna charge up our, all right, there's a GX Pokemon right there. So this will be abuse. Let's go ahead and play Max Elixir. It works, excellent. Yeah, do we want energy in this card? Um, I could set up a second Dark Rive if I play really carefully, which I think I will. We get to see the combo right away. So let's go ahead and play the Lele down. I want a Sycamore. Where are you, Sycamore? Hello there, Sycamore. So let's pull Sycamore out. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and discard one and one energy. You know that energy is going to come back. And we're going to pull out. Kinda, I want another Dark Ride down. I actually want Salazzle down. That's probably a smarter move. That's okay. We'll go ahead and discard this. Could have probably used a Rangaroo. It wouldn't have been too bad. Salanid. Good. Now I can start the evolution chain. All right. Do I want you to come back from uh, the grave? Restoration. Yes. It returns. And oh my gosh. Max Elixirs. Let's go ahead and do this. Yes. And I got I got Guzma next turn too. Let's go. Yep. Turn one. Turn one, yeah, pretty much turn one is Dark Ride, that's good. Of course, unfortunately, we can't get anything else. Um, Guzma here, but I don't want to switch to Tapu Lele. So maybe there's more valuable Pokemon. You know, taking out this Eevee is fine. I do not mind. Fairy Energy, this is a Fairy deck. I mean, that is a Sylveon. All right, that means there will not be a Sylveon once I'm done with this, however. Let's go ahead and play this right now. Of course, there's no reason why I should leave an Orangaroo right there. So I will have, you know, there's only one choice. There's a bit more choice here. 
So now, you will not get a, uh, Sylveon. I will take it out. Here we go. Pull this out here. Another slanted cow. Oh, nice. Let's use Dark Cleave. <laughs> Hopefully, Dead End is the thing. So that's like a bait. Like, don't click it. Even though it's lit up, don't click it. Hello, Guzma. You know, the Lysander's a man with a plan. I wonder what kind of man you are. So, there's two energies in this tap, but luckily, Dark Cleave will be able to, you know, pierce through that. Pierce through resistance. I think it has resistance. No! I think fairy Pokemon have resistance, even though it looks very fairy-ish. It is actually a psychic type with no resistance, no weakness. Sycamore, it is... Oh! Mega Gardevoir! Alright! That is cool, but he, you know, he kind of... You got a slow start. You really want to start with the Xerneas. Maybe, you know, you can't have four Xerneas, but you start with a Tapu Lele. Strange that he would put the Lele up front. He then wouldn't put the Eevee up front. If he had put the Eevee in the energy, that'd be cool. Yeah, it would, uh, then that would have all. Start off with that. Maybe he drew it later. Either way, it's 100 damage. However, it's going to be an instant KO here. All we got to do is evolve the Salazzle. Are we going to poison burn it? Yes, and I would have, uh, you know, if he took away my choice, man. If I, uh, actually, if I attack into 160. Yeah, I would have been able to save me some uh, time. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I could, uh, there's no reason for me to use the Super Run nor Guzma. So let's pull an extra card out. It's going to be another Salazzle. For next turn, good. Let's go ahead and use Dead NGX. We get to see one shot. Hey, yo, there's no animations like I'm still alive. No, I'm not. I'm in the discard. I've been knocked out. We got the Fighting Fury belt, though. So actually, that would have got me to KO, too. So that became a little late. We have one more Salaz, and we need, uh, we need some of uh, the evolution sprays now. So, Sycamore Lysander, man of the plan. Hala! Uh, look, Kenny. Uh-oh. Trampa's out. And with this attack, you can buy some time. However, I'm very nice. You know, I'm nicely ahead. He does some resistance to dark, but remember, this attack ignores resistance, and it will get a nice one-shot. So now he's gonna try to slow me down with the Lysander. Did you, did you just play a supporter? You played like a Sycamore, didn't you? Like two Sycamores, so you can't do that just yet. But he's like, I'm gonna Lysander, I'm gonna slow you down, but literally, he's old, the man, you're not the man with the plan. You used to be, you're somebody else. Uh-oh, Geomancy gonna load up. Uh-oh, Drumpa's getting loaded up. Are we gonna finish this off? See why not? Can we get a one shot? We can't use the dead end GX, and we need a choice band. However, let's get rid of the threat while we're at it. There we go. Hey, Guzma, go ahead and pull that out. Go ahead and send a fresh Dark Rye out. Give this a Fighting Fury belt. Deal with the threat of Ball. Poison burn you now. We need the evolution sprays. All right, we have no spaces for the Lele, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and use Dark Clee, which, all right, 140 damage. Very tanky. I didn't hurt this back here. I, I would have got KO'd it. So now the, my Pokemon's hiding in the back. He does have a Lysander though, so, you know, but that will slow him down. He could have potentially used Sycamore or something, but now yeah, he has the Lysander if he wants to pull this out. He does have enough damage. Nope, he's gonna retreat. He's gonna retreat. That, that makes. No, oh, I need another one. How many? You guys, two. There's only one more man with the Guzma there. We have to make a nickname for you. It's your boy Guzma. That's how she does. Lysander pulls that out. Okay. Oh, you. Yeah. If you, oh, yeah. He did play the verse secret for that. He should have just kept that as a verse secret to choose. So, this is going to get overloaded. He did have the Lysander. He did get the KO, but he's like, I'm going to go home. I'm going home first, and I'm going to send this thing back here. Maybe, oh, he needs energy for Gardevoir. That would make sense. That makes sense. So, Dark Lee, we get to see peeps through resistance. That would have done uh, less damage, but now I have two more prize cards. If you do send out your Trumpa, that's goner. And unfortunately, your boy Guzma is, uh... Well, I have one more. I have one more your boy Guzma. I, do I have a retreat? No, not quite. It's somewhere now. I'll probably be able to find a retreat with Sycamore. All right. Hala! Did he, he did not use his GX attack, so it only gives him four cards. Sucks. Gonna have three energies here on the Xerneas, three energies here, he'll get the KO, but this, once I take this out, I win. You see that? Yeah, so he was not, uh, 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 oh, okay, send him out. Good. Rainbow Spear, get the KO on this, nice. Now he loses one energy, and then I have to send this guy out. However, I get a one shot, I get a one shot. So let's go ahead and send this out right here. What do we need? Nothing, nothing. Actually, I could uh, I could just find your boy Guzma as long as he's not right here. I can just find him. Yeah, there she goes. There's your boy Guzma, but now I don't have a free retreat. 
That's a problem with this guy right there. He messed up. They don't have a free retreat yet. I'll just save him here for now. <laughs> Let's go ahead, dude. Sounds like I'm a fool. That is... You gotta learn. You gotta learn, Donald. Go, your boy goes must a bit tricky. It's not a straight Lysander. Not a straight Lysander. So now, the, the Pokemon that I want to bring out is already out. Fortunately. Fortunately. Alright, so... What we got? We got Verse Seeker. We got Verse Seeker. Be another Lysander. It is another Lysander, but your boy Guzma can deal. No, no, no. I have to pull something else. else. No, 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 I got it. I got it. <laughs> he should know that Guzma's right here. And Guzma's gonna bring out... I just need one prize card. That's fine. He is gonna bring out the Rangaroo. It's like, this is the heaviest card. This should get him stuck, but your boy Guzma's got a plan, right? It's like, yep. We got it. We're gonna bring that Xerneas out. We're gonna one-shot it. And it's so very convenient for me. I would've... Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so... Good. Yeah. Sometimes, it's like, great that I have it. Sometimes not. Oh, there goes the GX attack. And unfortunately, with the one final prize card, this is it. I have lots of draw supporters. I also have lots of other stuff, too. I just have lots of draw supporters right now. Let's send this out, Dark Ride GX. Just use your Dark Lead. 140 Fierce. That's actually as useful as little text right there. Good deal. We got to see the GX attack. We got to see every Nice showcase match. And what Dark Ride can do. And this just shows you Donald Trump. And I, I gotta turn the volume down with that. We better do that. Okay, so that's it for this one. Alrighty then. Tapu Bulu. Grass. Okay. This is the promo version, even though I think another version came in Burning Shadows. Let's get started. Welcome to the very... No, it's not. This is not the very first Dark Ride match. This is another Dark Ride GX match. I'm gonna play my remix of Battle of a True Parent, which is a sword from Undertale. It's a remix... Of, uh, or should I say a mashup of um, two different songs from Undertale? Let's get started now. Let's really get started. I'm gonna go ahead and play Altar of the Moon. This is a really messed up combo. Really messed up combo. But first of all, let me pull out my Dark Ride. Here we go. Dark Ride is up. However, if I Sycamore, that means I can get a lot of bonus energies up. Do I want to? Do you want the Lele to fight? I could put the energy and not waste it, or I could put everything in the dark drive, make sure it attacks much faster. You know, I may use the, this for as a retreat. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Yeah, okay, I don't want to waste any energies. I could discard two energies, which would not be as valuable. So, we do not see any- wait, yeah, we do see dark rise. Here we go, it's gonna come back. Hello! Okay, I will say hello back to you. There we go, it's landed, it's landed. Do you need more than- I don't know about that. Perfect goal. Let me go ahead and play this right here. Next turn, I will be able to attack. I won't be able to get the one-shot KO. What the three slanted down? I want another Dark Ride. That's what I want. So you want? I have a choice. I'm gonna say no. I don't want to hold up on that. Would you? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Slazzled. I need another Ultra Ball. I need another Ultra Ball. Or or something. Yeah. So we'll see how desperate we are for this. One Grass Energy, Horn Attack, replaces my stadium so I do not get the free retreat. However, I didn't want my Pokemon to get exposed. This stadium does protect, it does 30 less damage, so now it's very tanky. It is still a two-shot. This is a big, guaranteed two-shot, so I like it. I could just put, you know, I can attack with Lele. I don't have to attack with Dark Rye. I don't have to spend, you know, waste. I would only do 30 damage with the Lele, so, I, you know, paying this energy up to retreat ain't so bad. And then we'll get more value out of that way. So there is the Tapu. Oh, this is a little, okay. There's not Tapu. What a Volto. Volto Vicable. It gives me lots of energies. Hey, and more cards for me. All right. So I have three cards. Now I have six cards. Ain't that great? Oh, we have Max Elixirs too. So you, uh, dang. We just need the right puck cards now. I think I have a one shot on that. I do have a one shot. I don't need to use the Max Elixirs. Sad waste. That's a sad waste. Let's do it this, like this. I need a. I don't need a retreat. I want another dark ride. I don't care if I'm gonna be stuck, but I want to get the dark ride to get as much value as the cards I have in my hands. Let's go ahead and put this here. I could have put the slazzle out instead of the dark ride. But like I said, I. I want it like this, so I could use get this dark ride charged up. Get a lot of value. 
I can still pull more cards out. Maybe I might get lucky and get the Salazzo and Ultra Ball. Oh, it's a slanted. We do get a free retreat, which I I think will be useful. I'll keep the energy here. Now I'm going to use Dark Cleave instead of a Dead End. You could have used a Dead End. We'll save the Dead End. Now oh, this thing is almost gone. You got to get a plan B. There'll be a Dead End GX coming for you, but not immediately. Although, it would really you know, slow momentum if it, I could did get it immediately. So. All right. Okay, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball. This is gonna get out. Vicka Ball. Once Vicka Ball is out, Tapu Bulu is never gonna be stuck in energy. And Tapu Wilderness will completely heal it. So we both have a really scary GX. There's new Tapu Bulu, which that's where the that's where the dead end GX is coming. Not the front one, not the weak one, but the big one that's about to come. So another energy is like, nope, I'm the same I'm going for plan B. Alright, you know if we can end at there has to be an end, so why get more free cards? Yay! My opponent is helping me, unfortunately, helping me help a lot with this. So, that works. That works. So, uh, he's you know, so like, I'm plan B. Now, once the Dark Rise are out, you don't need to get any more. They'll come back to, to you, like, over and over. We do get the thing. Not this bad. Fuel Blower, so we can remove the stadium as well as the Choice Man. Alright. Fortunately, this is not an Ultra Ball. I'm probably sick of more. I'm probably sick of more. So, 30 damage to me. That's okay. I can handle that. We got a lot of Guzma for back here. Your boy Guzma. 30 damage. Nothing. The, the, the fight hasn't even started yet. Okay. So, you know what? This is a good time for Sycamore right now. Uh, that will get me close to decking out. Not that close, but still. Before we do that, we are going to go remove the stadium. I do more damage. I take away your damage. I'm going to go ahead and Sycamore, which gets stuff in the discard. Do I steal my super rod up? I think so, which is good. I don't have to play anything else right now. I like these cards in my hands. Let's not. Let's not do anything. I'll put this down. Nah, we'll bait it. We'll bait it. Let's go ahead and use uh, our Dark Cleave. Get our first prize cards. Don't want to waste anything right now. I have 15 cards left. You know, we could... Could be a deck out anywhere, so maybe close. I mean, that's the part where he's like, okay, I'm about. No. You're still safe. But the next second more you play, that's that. So that's a special point. All right, I'm waking up, and you're going to send this up. However, if the Tapu. Uh, not the Tapu. There's the Tapu Bulls mixing it up. It is going to. It is a Vicka Bolt. Vicka Bolt GX comes up. Then we have a problem. So he's thinning his hand down. No, not really. He is. He needs that Vicka Bolt bad. That's sick more. Ooh, good, good. He has the switch there. There's also a Tapu Coco, emergency Tapu Coco, which came down. I saw that. It's like now, you, I mean, you get to take a Float Stone. Okay, Float Stone's away from you. It's nothing at all. I'm going to put out Choice Man instead or something else. Now, he's like, dang, I did not get the Vicka Bolt. I, if there was a Vicka Bolt, you know, then it would do something. Unfortunately, there's not a Vicka Bolt, which we could pull Lysanne and pull it out if we are jerks. However, I'm just going to do this right now. I'm going to go ahead and use the land it. Yes, and now we can just send it to the void. First of all, let me go ahead and put these on Pokemon that are about to fight. Do I want to play N? Uh, no. I don't need anything. Everything's in my hand except energies. I'm going to use Dead End GX. Dead End! And that's another two prize cards for me. Got some good value of that. The whole thing goes to the ground. There's a... Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing sinks. Tapu Coco is that we only need one prize card. Your boy Guzma is right here, but we need a retreat. We need a retreat. Rescue Stretcher can bring back a little Bulu. Now if he can switch the Bulu out, he really, really wants to get this evolved, but he missed it by... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might see it. Now I just need a switch. And a rare candy and a Vicka Vault GX. It sucks how these things don't line up when the... sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That just happened, so Heavy Ball. Uh-oh. That's gonna bring out the big pick a bolt. Pick a bolt. Oh man, you will get the one shot on this. That means Bulu, I need the energy. I will do not have any more one shots. However, I do have Salazzles, which I will definitely try to poison. Actually, I do have a one shot if I do get an energy. How many what chances of getting an energy? No. Give me the energy. No, I don't have an energy. But I do have your boy Guzma. But I don't have I do have retreat too. Yes, yeah, GG. No, I have a choice. No, it's GG. That's GG. Your boy Guzma. Bring you out. I could bring the Shaman out too, but I'm bringing this guy out. I have no idea. I'm doing it the, the, the bold way. Let's send this out right here. Let's use de-evolution spray. 
poison burn you. I should have just got one of shame. Man. That would have been uh, much straightforward, but this is cool too. Sink the whole ship down with one big giant attack. Let's use Dark Cleave. Actually, this won't get it. I don't think this will get it. 140 poison burn. Yeah, that won't get it. That won't get it. We needed the choice ban. We need the choice ban or the energy to bring the shame one out. Oh, oh, but he has no prize card, so I'm gonna say, uh, put a smiley face. <laughs> well, good that. Yeah, yeah, you should have put my shame in, buddy. You should have put my shame in. So this goes on one more turn longer. He, uh, he does get to use heal up completely. He heals up completely after this, which is bad. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that gets them fully Coco up. His GX attack fully heals it all. Oh, oh, but he, oh, well, you have your GX attack. Forgot about it too. Hmm. I do have one more, your boy, Guzma. I do have one more, Lele. I just need your boy, Guzma. There's Lele right there. I can Salazzle it. Salazzle, you're here? We both messed up on this. We both messed up. We totally both messed up here. Alright, so instead of using the GX attack... I know we did use the GX attack. The GX is already finished. Your boy Guzma is not here either. He's in my prize guard. Ah, I, I would have pulled it out and finished it off. Alright, let's go ahead and pull an elf. Just, we don't even need that card. Yes, poison burn it. We need an energy. And the card that's gonna get me the most energies is probably Shauna, but I don't want to pull these ends again. I don't really don't want to pull Le Lily. There's three energies cards. So I could end, but I run a Shauna. That's much better. There's an energy. That's GG. Okay, there we go. Don't mess it. Don't, 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 don't go crazy. Just do it. Just use Dark Leaf. I was gonna pull that out. Poison burn it. Apparently a GX stack was used, but I totally forgot about that. So, all right. I lose, I lose a little face at the end, but I got it anyways. Woo! Okay, <laughs> got it. Yes! Scary. Aren't you scary? Aren't you scary? Very scary deck. GX plus buzz. They gotta be afraid. It's a one shot. And he still does as a one shot, even if he doesn't uh, have the GX attack. So, works out fine. Yeah, yeah, you can see that little part at the end where I ended with the Shaman. So, that was, that was much cooler to finish. <laughs> Moving on. Alrighty then. Cosma. Could be Sogaleo. Could be Lunala. Haven't seen Lunala in a while, so it's probably Sogaleo. So, Sogaleo's one shot's on me. Okay, we gotta shut this down. Let's do this. All right, welcome to another Dark Ride GX match. I'm gonna play my remix of Cool Angel's Thesis from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Good old, very, uh, you know, mile, milestone anime. Ooh, all right, so, so landed. you're definitely gonna stay up front, and the reason I set Slanted up so I can benefit from this Max Elixir. Now, I could Lily, I could Sycamore, I could Chana. Lily's not gonna get me so much. Chana's got me less cards, but uh, it's okay. I think I'm gonna go Sycamore. Sycamore. All right, good eye. What do we have here? We, oh, another one of these. I would prefer regular energy, so if I had a regular energy, I'm pretty much good to ready to go. So, am I, do you want to retreat right now? Sure. Sure, bigger case. You know, does I get hit with some uh, a certain uh, two removal card? I, I at least Dark Rise is up there, and I got some value out of everything. Maybe not this card. So it's like, uh oh. Cosmog is here, so that is, what? You trust the front Cosmog? Really? You cannot evolve this. I want to place the energy on the back. No, this is a purple energy, man. This is a Lunala deck. It feels like a Lunala. Always trust the back Cosmog, but he's like, well, I'm splitting my energies. This means this could be, uh, I go anywhere. Yeah, uh, you can't really shut down Cosmog. That's true. That's absolutely true, but the one with the choice band is the most dangerous one. And I do have resistance against it, so yeah. The only thing it does is it can't heal. So this is cool. I kind of want this to set up. I think I do. I don't know, uh, you know, just play just play normally, though. Don't, don't do anything too crazy. I need another energy. I kind of like having Slazzle here. By the end of the energy. So, gotta find out how to do that. There's Luna. What? 
Okay, that's Baby Lunala. That's from the team deck. So, okay, I want to see the GX one, but that, that, that's cool. That's cool. Now, what are we gonna do? Need some more cards? Oh, yo, man, I want to see that Lunala. Here, have some more cards. And I don't know if they were the right cards you need, but you're gonna have more cards to the. You can have more cards than you hit that last turn. So, you know what? I'm gonna play this right here. Place this right now. Well, we probably should get another. If we get max elixirs, I won't be able to use Dark Rise. So, I want this right here. I have two removables. You do have choice bands, so let's go ahead and remove both of your choice bands. I still got excellent value out of that. Do I want to use the Super Rod? No, not really. Not really. Let's go ahead and play Instruct. I'm not gonna. I could be nice. I could be totally nice. You wanna be nice and not attack this? What are you doing, Donald? I let you go. You only have this one thing, okay? You saw that? That's one freebie. I want to see your Lunala. I know stage going second as the stage two is a bit disadvantaged. So, there you go, buddy. Let me see your Lunala deck. Let's see what you got. So, uh, there's the two energies back here. It's evolved once. That's it. All right. So now, you have the Lunala checks. I saw the baby Lunala. Both of them combo. Okay. So, you still need them there. Unfortunately, okay. I think it's time to get going. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, play the Lele right now. Do you need more cards? Uh, let's go ahead and... And it's not gonna be useful once I get a prize card. I'm gonna hold on to a Sycamore right now. There we go, Sycamore. Let's go ahead and play this right now. We're not gonna play the Sycamore just yet. I'm just like, hey, I just have it in my hand. I'm gonna use Dark Cleave, finish up this Cosmog. And that is the only freebie yet. Well, you know, I only gave him one turn. And the, the, I did not attack. Otherwise, this card will be exposed right now, which it is. So we will see a Lunala. Lunala will get the first attack on the very first Dark Ride, which we can still max Elixir and gun energy up. If I, uh, if I was playing, I really should have Sickle Board, actually. So it is going to be Lunala GX. All right, the GX is here. So now the GX can hit this Lazzle, which will prevent me from getting the KO. And that would be big. That would be big. And then you chose the Sycamore of all things. We could recycle some cards. Actually, this is the only super prize. It kind of sucks that I lose this right now. So what do we do? What do we do? All right. Are you getting scared? You do have Lunar Fall. Got some healing, which is a uh, major. There's only, I have to go for a two shot. I can do this. But if he goes for the GX attack, that means I won't be even hurt. I won't be hurt at all. All right, there. So there's a Mariani. What? <laughs> all right, so there is a Toxamax GX in here as well. Will you use your GX with the Rangaru and Sled? If I mean, this Len is what's going to get the KO one shot. I would go for the Sled if I know what's coming. However, he's not going to use the GX attack at all. Maybe he's saving it for maybe that guy right there. So you know what? That was a mistake. That was a mistake. This allows me to get the one shot. And I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. You're now poisoned. You're now uh, burnt. Let's go ahead and play Sycamore. Actually, we gotta play this Lend It Down. And uh, do you wanna play this as well? No, no. I'm not, if I need it, it's gonna go through the trash. We do have one more Max Lux to two Dark Riser ready to go. Wonderful! And a uh, lot of Slazzles. Okay, we need, we need the big guys. Let's use Dead End GX. Dead End 250 damage. Everything is a, it's a one shot. So that syncs with all the energies, and that is that. Had he used his GX attack on the Salazzle, how it was a brand new card. It was a brand new card. You don't know the combo yet. This is the first time, well, it's pretty much the day it came out. So it's like, what? I lose everything? Oh, and at this point, it was impressive to see that there. Maybe he should have hit his energies to the back. He could move his energies, but he kept it on the front. He didn't think that I would uh, have that one shot KO on that kind of. All right, so Tapu Finney is up. Joanna needs two energies though. Victory, yes. After shutting that, bringing down the whole house with that move, with the dead end. That's that. So, don't make that mistake. You gotta know. People will learn. People know what's coming with the Dark Ride. But today, the very first day of Burning Shadows release, I get a, I get a freebie. All right, moving on. Wow. If you're listening to this, that means you've reached the end. And that's so... Thank you. And congratulations. This time we rate this deck. Let's break it down. All right. Dark Ride GX, what's the most special thing about you? What makes you different, unique, your defining trait? And that is 
All in one word, you're very efficient. Everything about you speaks efficiency. Your ability makes you efficient. Your attacks are efficient for their energy cost. So let's really break it down. Damage is a A. I'm gonna give it an A. What is an A? A is a one shot kill. I think A should also be two shot kills, but for the energy cost that you're getting those one shot, those two shots, three energies, that's pretty good. This is also a perfect two shot kill because 260 gets even the biggest, baddest GX out of there. Actually, even even with the new muscle dumbbells pushing some Pokemon to 260 hit points like the Alola Muck, that is a perfect two shot. However, the dead end GX is a one shot on anything, a KO. In its text, it's not like 300, it is KO. It doesn't matter what you have, it is a KO. Oh, so for that many energies and for what? That's a one shot. A level, A level. Reliability is this deck reliable? Okay, it is a basic Pokemon. It has a way to charge itself up. The highest evolution you're going for is a stage one. You're using lots of max elixirs to get that three energies up. Yeah, I'd say for in terms of compared to other decks, we're gonna give this an A. I mean, even this is a new standard deck still. With what you have to work, you can make this setup easily. Easily, easily, easily. Easy setup. I mean, everything about this card speaks about to itself. Everything's just good to set up. Energy costs, low evolution, it's good. We're gonna move on from there before I start getting confused. Payoff! Where's the payoff? Once you set everything up, you got your slazzles up, you got your energies up, how good is the payoff? How strong are you once you reach you know, your max? It is good. I'm gonna give it a B plus. A may be something with a big giant hit points and a, maybe a lot more damage, but this is this pretty good. You do have a one shot. You have perfect two shot. The only thing is your hit points is low, and that's the weakness. It is worth two prize cards. Other decks have the power to one shot this as well. The power level of the meta, it's out there. And if you're trading, you know, two shots with the non GX Pokemon, you can do it. It only has 180 hit points. So, still, finishing up payoff, it's good. Trading against GX Pokemon is good. Trading against non-GX, it may suffer a bit because of the, the you know, non-prize cards. So, ready? I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. I feel like this is a good GX. I'm not, can't quite say this is like the tournament winner because I think there may be more efficient deck out there. However, for the quality of this GX card, I will give you a 4.5 out of 5. Still, you find a good non-GX deck, Take this deck out. So it's good against GX cards, mainly because of this right here to get those two prize cards against other. Okay, moving on, moving on. What is up for next time? You saw her at the red of the, actually at the first of the video, at the start of the video. Gardevoir, GX, you are next. So, oh yeah, Mega Mewtwo without the psychic weakness. Sounds good. Sounds good. So that's up for next time. All right, anything else I need to say? Hey, it's the release of Burning Shadows. We are gonna do a lot of Burning Shadow videos. Probably stream as well. So uh, everything is set up now. Everything's good to go. So I probably will see you tomorrow for Gardevoir. Yeah, yeah, so nothing, um, I can't look much further than this. There's a lot of Pokemon streaming and video YouTube to do. And there's a lot of new cards for the new expansion. So it's a nice, happy time. All right, I think that's all. Uh, oh no, new remixes will be coming soon to Spotify, iTunes in about a week. They actually came back and said, "Oh no, you can't use the piano in your song's name. You have to write piano version or something." So it's a naming problem. So I have to set it again today. So I think that's that. That's really it. So that's all. Okay. So thank you very much, Integrals and Differentials, my remixes. That's iTunes, that's Spotify. If you are uh, tired and you still want to see more Pokemon videos. You can check these out right here on the playlist. I have lots of Pokemon videos, lots to come, lots done. So, uh, Ninetales was the last video. And it's a meta, meta, very meta changing deck. Yeah. When we see that more in force, we're gonna get real, things will get real dicey. All right, that is it for now. Thank you, Integrals. Thank you, the Frenchals. See you again. Thank you. Bye bye.